What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send an email with a hyperlink. So let's get right into it. We're going to call this sub, send hyperlink. And we're first going to declare our variables. Um, let's start off with out app as an object. And then out mail as an object, and then our the body of our message. It's going to be a string, so we'll call it str body string body as string. So let's set out app equal to create object. Outlook application and we're going to set out mail equal to out app dot create item zero and now for our string body we're going to be using HTML so we're gonna have to like decide what our font types gonna be so the font size and the font family so let's do this we're gonna have body style equal to font size let's make it 11 and then our font family We can go with uh, Arial. I feel like I'm running out of space here, so let's go ahead and go to the next line. Use an ampersand and an underscore to continue with this line. So we can say hello. And because it's HTML, we're going to have to use break. So BR to break to the next line. Another BR to break to the line after that. And we can say something like, our report's been completed. You can access the report here. And then the word here will be our actual hyperlink. So we'll say today's report has been completed. Let's go ahead and skip to the next line. Ampersand underscore. And then you see how there's no space after the period? We'll put a space here just to make sure the wording looks right. You'll know what I mean when the actual message pops up. You can access the report. You know what? I'll go ahead and take out this space just so we know what's going on. You can access the report, and instead of saying typing here, this is where we're going to insert a hyperlink. So in order to do that, we're going to do this. A, href, and then we'll use our file path. And we're going to have to use double quotations for that. And in order to get our file path, let's get us something off of my computer. Uh, let's open up this folder. So we'll have this PC documents test. This is a folder I want to access. In order to determine exactly how the syntax should be, for this file location, the easiest way to do it is the actual op actually open the file. And if you go here to customize quick access toolbar, you can go to more commands and then change from popular commands to all commands. Then you're going to want to scroll down to the D section and you're going to go ahead and add document location. So once I do that, now you can see exactly how you should use the document location in your code. So you can just copy and paste this. So that's the exact file path that I want to use for my code. So now... 
We're going to close this with double quotations. And then we're going to use here. That's going to be our hyperlink word here. And then we're going to do slash a. And we can go ahead and add a couple more breaks. Let me go ahead and skip to the next line now. So let's do ampersand underscore next line. And I'll say best regards. Then we can break again. And I'll say my name, Greg. And that'll be the end of the message. So now we can go on to deciding who we're sending this message to, what the subject's going to be. So let's go ahead and do this on error. Resume next. And without mail. We're going to do this too. Um, we can send it to whatever email address you want to use, but make sure you use quotations. So I can just put uh, coworkers at xyz.com. And then we can CC someone, but I'll just leave that blank for now. And you can always BCC as well, but I'll leave that as blank. Our subject is going to be daily report and because it's a daily thing uh, let, me, let me forget the uh, quotations because it's a daily thing um, we can add the date so we'll just do an ampersand format date and the format we'll use will just be month dash day dash year year And you want to do display. You could also, so you could do display here, which will allow the email to pop up before you press send. Otherwise, you can just click the send. You can actually type send here, and it will send without you having to see the display. But I always like to have the display show up first before I actually send anything out. So we'll have display. And then we'll do HTML body. And then this is going to be equal to our string body. And then we'll reference itself again. So now we can end our with. And then on error, go to zero. And then we can set out mail to nothing. All right, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and run it. And you see, this mail has been sent to coworkers at xyz.com. The subject is daily report, October 14, 2019. And the message is hello. Today's report has been completed. And you remember I didn't put a space here after the period. So I'll pull this out the way. It says today's report has been completed. I could have put a space here or I could have put a space here. But I didn't. And you can see how that doesn't look right. But we do have our hyperlink, and you can see the hyperlink has the actual file path that we want. So let me go ahead and click on it. And there we have. So let's try this again. Um, this time, let's use a website, and let's go ahead and add that space. 
And then we can also change the date formatting as well. So we can do month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. And let's take out this path. And let's just put www.google.com. Let's change the font to times. Let's change the, t the size of the font to 30. And let's go ahead and run it again. And you see here, daily report. Now we have slashes instead of dashes. And 2019 in full instead of just 19. The font's bigger. It's also times this time. And the hyperlink looks the same. It says here again. But instead of having the file path on my computer, now we actually have a website. So if I click it, it takes me to Google. <laughs> I don't have internet where I'm at right now, but you can see it says Google.com. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, that's it. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.